Well, as I stated in my last video, this is either going to be a monumental success or a huge failure. Now we're getting close. The, the checkerboards aren't done or anything like that. or But we're going to unmask it. I don't like leaving the masking on any longer than I absolutely have to. Let's see if we can find the uh, scalpel. There it is. So, I guess we'll begin, where do we want to begin? We'll take, we'll take the tail off, paper off the tail first. This is like Christmas. Except you have to be a little more careful unwrapping this than a Christmas present. Now I looked at the video and this green doesn't look very good on the video. But trust me, when it gets the clear on it, and it's all sitting together, it's quite a nice color. Now I'm sure there's going to be some touch-up work. Not from, uh, well, from a standpoint of any of the mistakes in woodwork or whatever, any imperfections in the paint job. I'm going to go ahead and fix those as well. But I think I had most of them out. But, it, you know, as I've stated in the past, you just never know until you got paint on it. Because it looks entirely different in primer or base color or whatever and what it does with color on it. I like it. And of course there's no clear on it yet so it's not shiny. It's very humid here today so it some of the purple blushed up, but that'll be taken care of when it gets cleared. We're either going to have to have some retarder or wait for a day that zero humidity, which here in Missouri is not very many. We're going to see how my masking skills went. As I've told you, the reason why a lot of guys pull paint off is they're not, they don't use enough thinner. So we're going to see if I use enough thinner. I'm going to go ahead and let the camera run where I normally don't, but I want you to see it unveiled. At least we'll do one side of it anyway. I definitely used enough thinner. 
That's a good thing. Okay. You see the white here. That's on the mask. It's not on the paint job. Remember, I used uh, that shelving paper. Best way to attack this. Hope you can uh, see what I'm doing. So far, I, I haven't seen any glaring errors. I'm sure there's going to be something where I mismatched or something. Let's take the shelving paper off and see what it looks like. If anything comes out, I hope that this this stripe here comes out right because boy, it was complicated to take. Far so good.
this gets a checkerboard inside here. It's going to be quite complicated to do, but you see it's uh, got a small bleed through right there where I missed a spot. That's okay. spot right there. All these things are pretty much gimmies. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, we got to figure out how to get that stripe off there. Yeah, I do like this shelving paper. I knew it was going to be good stuff. It act it acts just like uh, the sign painter's mask. couple spots that I gotta fix. couple spots.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for the paint to dry before I can cart it off. See how this came out. Well, with so much back masking, there are a couple of a couple of screw ups where I missed, but I I kind of figured that was gonna happen. I'll have to touch them up. Not really a big deal. This means more work. I hate work. As if it isn't complicated enough. Or any other time when you see stuff like that go on, you'd be freaking out. <laughs> oh no, I ruined my paint job. Well, fortunately, it's not the case.
not sure if I like back masking better than painting over the top or what. The jury is still out because it looks like I'm going to have to fix. Of course, there's less masking this way. It would have been five or six masks the other way. This gets the uh, black checkerboard. Yep, after using that shelving paper one time, I recommend the low shelving paper. It works really good. Bummed that that line didn't come out perfect. Means I gotta go back in there and back mask that and try to clean it up. <coughs> Let's see how this works. There are a few lines that I'm going to have to clean up. I guess that's mainly because I don't see very well anymore. So, let's see how it looks. That'll all be well and good when I when it hardens up and I can card it off easier. I had a Lafayette Escadrille card. Would have been better for it. Okay, let's take the back piece off and see what it looks like.
looks pretty good, except for that one spot right there. I, I don't care for that where it, it kind of bled through. I'm sure the checkerboards are going to hide it. Well, I'm going to cut the camera. I just wanted to give you an idea of what you have to go through to, to get a complicated paint job. There'll be many hours of doctoring, sanding. I got to retape for the checkerboard. Probably end up steel wooling all this. There we go, that came off. That's good. Checkerboards in this stripe are going to be quite the trick, too. Anyway, we'll see you on the next go around. Gives you an idea of the, the color scheme that I got going. Gold leaf letters, checkerboards. And I hope you like it. So, See you in the short. Well, you've probably been wondering what I've been up to. Well, <clears throat> I've been doctoring a mistake that I made. It wasn't really a mistake. It was just a change for aesthetics. I, I didn't like the way the uh, <clears throat> leading edge checkerboard came out. So it was, it followed the leading edge sheeting and it made it look like it was pushing forward and I didn't didn't really think that was too aesthetically pleasing so it's taken three days to straighten out that particular problem I just got done shooting the purple I've already laid the checkerboards out in the uh, the stripe that goes behind the white. So today we're going to unwrap it. It's only been about a half an hour, and we're going to do a little test and see if it's ready to unwrap. 
and if it is, we'll go ahead and unwrap it on camera. Now the humidity is way up today, and the purple is kind of flat. It's not real shiny, but that's not really a problem. And the reason it's not a problem is I will get some retarder and in a few days when I get ready to clear this the clear will take out that dullness so don't ever panic when it when it blushes and if we were shooting urethane which we will be shooting urethane on the nose it wouldn't matter not at all so about got the I've got the mess cleaned up here and start unwrapping. I really, really like this shelf paper. This shelf paper was a good deal. It's from Duck. So you know it's got to be good. Peel and stick, low tack shelf paper. The best move I ever made. I used some of my old checkerboard material that I got from the sign shop to lay the checkerboards out on the leading edge. So we're going to make, give it a little once over here to make sure it's all covered. A mistake. And it appears to be... Now I have a few issues with the first stripe that I laid down on the fuselage. It still gets checkerboards in between that and that's going to take some time to do but I, I need to get to work on my other projects. I just wanted to get this to this particular stage so that I can put the landing gear on it and hang it on the wall and let it dry out while I'm working on those other projects. how much I have for clear. I probably get, still have about two ounces for clear. And that's to stay under the 64 ounce mark. It, uh, it didn't come out as light as I would have liked, but they never do. I'm really anxious to see how this stripe came out, but it's not really ready. It's uh, still kind of wet, so we'll wait on that, peeling that up. I went ahead and changed up the uh, the stripe behind the checkerboards from yellow to the same green that's on the tail. I've also been contemplating adding some red to this airplane. As I told you when I started this project, I wanted to do an, a paint job 
that was out of my norm. I never do this many colors on an airplane. It, my Thunderbolt had this many colors. And of course I ordered some more variegated gold leaf. We'll be doing the gold leaf on this as well. Just like Christmas, I, I love this part. As long as I don't get any paint pulling up. Which I've told you, suggested, how you get it to refrain from the tape pulling up. And that's thinner. If you don't have enough thinner in your paint, that means it's going to go on dry. And it will not bond from layer to layer. that happens, you get the paint pulling up. Hmm. Got a problem going on here. What this, what's the story here, Larry? I think the masking tape has the most adhesive on it, and that's where you tend to get into trouble. This green stripe comes out good. This will be slick. Just so humid in St. Louis here. Like living in the sauna. You'll notice I have a uh, a funding banner up in the right hand corner. It's that little exclamation mark. If these videos help you, please consider donating just a token so that I can continue to bring these to you. The most important part is, did that little green stripe, that eighth inch pin stripe, come out good? That's what makes or breaks it. Where they didn't come out perfect on the fuselage, I have to go back and touch them up.
and I know that it doesn't make much sense why is there a yellow stripe there. Well, the reason why there's a yellow stripe there is that a yellow flap goes there. This is a short. Yeah, I'm thinking the red letters stun hanger on here and my wicks. Um, my wicks decal and then my gold leaf atlas or AMA number and then the atlas on the inside. Very minimal on the inking this year and I'll tell you why. Because I got slammed for it last year. Well, the ink line's not big stuff. Yeah, if it's not there, they can't whine, so... That's where we're going to go with that. Not too much ink. Let's see how the green stripe came out. If I remember right, I started at the leading edge here. Perfect. Except it's still too soft, and we don't want to. So I'm going to wait a minute. Anyway, I'll cut the camera. We're going to wait a half an hour or so for this paint to set up a little better, because I don't want all these soft hairs that are coming out, and I want to make sure that line's clean because. It is so hard to paint an eighth inch stripe that I want to get that correct the first time. So we'll be back in a half an hour when this thing dries up a little bit. So see you in the show. <clears throat> well, I'm finishing up the unwrapping. Uh, I have two very small, no, three very small touch-ups to do where I guess I didn't get enough thinner. It pulled up a spot about an all three spots are about an eighth inch, maybe a quarter inch long. And there's three spots so far. If I can get this last piece of tape off here for the green stripe, without any, uh, without any more, it'd be three very small touch-ups. Then, of course, <clears throat> after it dries for, I don't know, maybe by this evening, we can card this all off. I'm still considering adding the red in it. I'm really, I'm thinking yes, I'm going to, so it's not considering, it's just a matter of 
how do I want to incorporate the red <clears throat> we're still going to get checkerboards in this stripe right here and that'll be a more difficult thing to do that'll probably take a week <laughs> to do but I, like I said before I need to set this aside and uh, work on my other projects but I wanted to get this untaped. If you let the tape sit on the airplane for more than a day, you run the risk of the tape hardening on the paint job and pulling it up. And that's just so disheartening. It's a disaster when these little mistakes happen. So in order to to not make those mistakes, I'm passing on just some things that I've learned from painting motorcycles, painting these airplanes, painting cars. I, I take the tape off within the first hour of it being dry. See, I missed the hole. I will probably, once I get this, get this all set up the way I want, I will probably glue the flaps on before I clear it. So we'll, we'll give a little try and see if it's going to card off now. No, it's not. Well, it does. It's just not, not easy yet. We're going to want to take a card, credit card, piece of plastic, something with a sharp edge on it and go around all your tape lines. Let's see how much weight it gained after repairing the... Uh, it wasn't really a repair, it was just an aesthetic change. I, I, didn't, I didn't like how it looked. And it was either live with that or change it and be happy. So I decided to change it. I can feel she's picking up weight though. We're at 60 ounces now. 42 plus 18. So, the rest is clear. Maybe it'll gas off a, a little. It's 
you know, I, I've heard people say, well, it'll gas off an ounce. No, it won't. It might gas off a quarter ounce or a half an ounce. But... but I'm going to have to stop painting here shortly. I mean, obviously it needs clear and... Uh, It needs clear and lettering, and the the little extra paint that I'm going to put on this is not going to add four ounces. So we're looking at an airplane at 62, 62, 63 tops. So I'm going to put it all together. I'm going to take it outside and look at it and see if I like it. Hopefully I do. Because it's a little late to change it now. And we'll be back. Uh...